What's good, Team Exclusive, and welcome back to a brand new episode of The Road to Glory. Now, you know I had to go out and get that moment, Olivier Giroud. You know I had to, and um, that's what I did do. So, last night I spent pretty much all of my time uh, grinding to get this Olivier Giroud moments card because Arsenal fan, I'm a big fan of Giroud. I think he's always been uh, a world-class player. And he, uh, there we are, straight in the club. 90 rated, moments shrewd, 84 pace, 90 shrewd, like 89 physical. His, his card is completely insane. Obviously, that huge pace boost, which he uh, very rightly needed. Let's go. Let's go. Look at that card as well. Look at that. Card is really nice. I mean, like the card design. Really nice card design. Um, but, like, what a, what a beautiful bastard he is. Um, anyway. There we go. So Olivier Giroud goes straight into the uh, straight into the team. Probably he could probably actually go in my team. Put him down to a centre forward. Play him in one of the cam rolls. Engine golden, absolutely golden. And of course, uh, while we're doing that one, we could have done or could have been working towards the milestone. These milestones at the same time, but I I forgot. Um, and also, I don't really care to be honest. I really I just don't really care really don't care but the other one we were working towards at the same time of course i think it's pretty obvious is the uh premier league league player which um did three of the two so we only need two more assists from crosses and three more wins so probably have ruben nevers in the um in the club at some point probably for sbc usage no doubt because if i'm honest his, his card besides passing looks pretty tragic i'm not going to put him over kante no, I wouldn't, no. He, look, he looks awful. Um, anyway, yeah, so we've got Moments Giroud. And of course, from the last episode of the draft video, Niketia sold. So we made probably 500 and something coin profit from that, which is always pretty, pretty nice. Because we bought him for 1.4. So sold him for two. Master trading. Of course, we've got our um, Champions League man of the match, Giroud, listed up. I bought him for 16 in hopes to use him. Um, I was always scared because of that 47 pace, but I never got a chance to, so uh, I thought I'd just sell him. And we'll stick those up as well, see if we can get some other things sold. So, not bad, not bad at all, but uh, let's go and look where we can actually put this uh, this Giroud. So, uh, this was the team I was using for the uh, Giroud Challenge, the ma managerial masterpiece. If anybody's curious how I, what team I kind of used, I used uh, this. Um insane team insane team tony marshall was really good he was well he was kind of hit and miss he was good but also he was kind of crap at the same time so um yeah not bad i bought him for 26 so i think i've actually made profit marginally but i have made profit and of course a pretty standard team just use some of the silver stars morgan and um yan bush bush i don't know how you pronounce that yan yan yahan Bakash, no idea. Anyway, he was good as well, to be fair. It was really good. Um, and then, of course, my fan favourite of Mate Vidra um, goes in at Cam. It's just a sensational Silver Stars player. Like, incredible. Incredible. Um, he feels so much better than his card portrays as well. It's just nutty. Nutty. But the rest of the team is pretty standard, and that's kind of what I used. So, if you're curious, there you go. There you go. But uh, let's jump over to my main team, which of course is that one. Um, it's not a whole lot of place to put him, but I'm going to put him over Martin Udegaard. Just to see the comparison, because I, I don't, I, I'm still undecided about Udegaard, whether or not I think he's actually um, worthwhile keeping. But Rue goes in there, and we're going to put a uh, striker to centre forward. Bam. And then we'll put a uh, engine chem style. Because I feel like that boosts him up the most of where he needs it to be. Where's my engine? There we go. So he gets a bit of pace. Gets uh, dribbling in the right areas of like balance and agility. Um, and then we get some passing as well, which is good. And obviously a bit of pace. So ideal. Ideal. Um, L. Perfect link to Kante. You do love to see it. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still undecided about Martin Udegaard because he is good. I just don't know if he's that good. Like he's already five nine five, man. He's already dropping in price. Like, do I just do I just get rid of Martin Udegaard? That's the question. Do I just get rid? Do I just get rid? Maybe, maybe. Don't know. 
don't know. I'll keep hold. Because I did, I did want to buy him. So I might just keep hold of him. Of course, Tierra Henry is still in the uh, 2.4 mark, which is quite nice. But yeah, that's how the team's going to look. Um, crazy, crazy setup. It's always, it's always improving. <laughs> it's always improving. When I thought, you know, when we bought Henri, that would kind of be the end of it. But there's so many... So many upgrades, so many really nice upgrades as well. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the first game of Division Rivals. Try and get some out of the way. Try and hopefully get some wins. Because uh, I do plan on playing Foot Champs this weekend. So, if we get a few wins, that'll obviously help us achieve rank 1, possibly. It's got a good team as well. It's got a good team. It's got that Fafana, uh, Fela, Mendy, Pogba, Kante. It's nice. I like it. It's a good team. Go on. Giroud. Yeah, what we're saying. Giroud from there. Oh, yo, he had a sting on that. That was nasty. Bang. You do love to see it. Olivier Jaru. Get him in the uh, old celebration gang. You do love to see it. Let's fucking go. What a header. What a header. That's going to be really valuable as well. That's going to be super valuable. I saw that as well. I just couldn't stop it, man. What can, what can you do there? Okay, definitely made the tackle there. Oh, and there as well. That's good. Yo, go on, Giroud. What a pass to the main man, Olivier Giroud. No, I should have done that sooner. Damn. I got kind of uh, stuck in two minds there. What to do? Henri. Oh, I should have finessed it, man. That was stupid. Can get it to Giroud again. It's Ramos this time. Yo, Sergio. Oh my god. Sergio Ramos bags a goal. I mean, like he does in real life, to be fair, you know, flicking the switch between defender and attacker, that's nutty. That was nutty good. I mean, you don't, you don't leave the space for Henri. Oh. Never mind. Maradona. Uh. Kaka's got the space. Let's go. Diego Kaka puts in the back of the net. Let me do the celebration, man. Fuck. Let's go, Diego Kaka. You do love to see it. Yo, he's been waiting to do that all game, I bet. All game, he's been like, oh, I just really want to rainbow flick him. Get Olivier Giroud. Getting in there. Straight across to... Henri, what? What even happened? How did he do that? How did he do that? And also, how did that not go in? Oh, Giroud. One time, bang. Oh, he's offside. Yuri Berechish. Running on through. I see Giroud at the back. That's got to be a goal. How is he? Bang. Bang. <laughs> Bang. Go on, get the ball. Get the ball. Get the ball. Uh, what? All right. Well, Kaka makes it four. I mean, that's pretty, pretty evidently... Um, I don't know what the word is I'm trying to look for. But it, it's without doubt we've won the game. If we don't, then I will quit at FIFA. In general, I'll just quit FIFA. Anyway, there we go. So we win 4-1. Uh, um, Giroud getting a goal on his debut. A few for Kaka and Henri. None for Henri, actually. I actually thought he scored a goal, but he didn't. That's, uh, that's quite surprising. Um, Kaka with two. Giroud with one. And Ramos with one. Very, very good goal as well. Um, assist going to Kante, Kaka and Maradona. Things you do love to see. Alright, here we go for game numero dos. Uh, he's got Sol Campbell, he's got Fela Mendy, Kante, Curtis Jones, Martin Udegaard. It's a good little team, good little team, good little team. I'm sure that team of the, team of the Annoyer is going to be an absolute pain in my ass. God damn, our defence just split open there, that's crazy. Fair enough, I guess. Henri, there we go, prime Henri, does not miss those. Um, yeah, struggling to score with Giroud. Struggling to really get anything going. This guy, this guy is good. But, um, yeah. Not giving up. Oh, Giroud. Please, man. 
Please. What? This noise. I knew this noise was going to be a pain in the ass, but I... Yo, hold on. Come on. Ah. Oh. Is it, is it Neuer or is it Giroud? I don't even know at this point. Henri! There we go. Showing Giroud how it's done. There we go. You do love to see it. You do love to see it. I, I, just, I don't know. I Maybe it is me. I don't know. Maybe. Um, I think he moved his keeper, so that might be why uh, Henri scored so easily. But still, Giroud, he's got, had like three chances and just missed them all. He's got to be offside, surely. He's not offside, is he? Nope. Brilliant. Well, there you go. That is fan-fucking-tastic. That's really annoying. Damn, man. Damn. Wouldn't really have been just if I'd just done it from the kickoff, but still, you never know. It was close. It was close. I just can't... Ugh, so fucking frustrating one through ball just from taking it off my defensive player when he gets the ball that's just mental man mental way to lose a game mental way to lose a game all right so next opponent got equally very nice team how did he get that um balak on loan interesting i like that defense though that borussia dortmund in form link up that's very very nice Great save check. It doesn't matter. Of course it doesn't. Never, never would matter. Why does it get palmed in that direction? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Maradona. There we go. Puts in the back of the net. Fuck's sake. This guy's like ultra defensive. It's so shit, man. So shit against trying to play against these type of players. Stop celebrating like you've won the World Cup, man. It's a fu you fuck. You're a fucking waster. Can't deal with it. I just can't deal with these type of people that play Ultimate Team, man. I don't get it. There's no one way of playing, but like, fuck. Good lord. I was actually kind of looking forward to playing Foot Chance, but after today, like, after playing this, I just, I really just don't want to anymore. This is the main reason why I don't play uh, Foot Champs. Because people are just fucking infuriatingly terrible. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's not really that. It's just like, the way people play is just so anti fun. It's crazy. And I just, I don't know, I can't, my, my head can't deal with it. Head can't deal with it. So, it is what it is. It's got a full Liverpool team. Ironically called BPL, but, I mean, it's... I mean, both those things are incorrect because it's, it's not Barclays Premier League anymore. It's not been that for a good few years, so, you know. Maradona! There we go. Get fucked. Bang, there we go. Who was that? Was that Kappa? That was, that was Kappa. Stole the ball, yeah, get fucked. This Liverpool scummer. Bit harsh, but still. Um, he was he was such a dick, man. This guy was such a dick. Like, just playing so defensively. Just going on the counter. Like, look at that. Like, look at those shots. And shots and target and shit, like... Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. I don't know. It's so annoying to play against these type of people, but there we go. He quit because he couldn't handle getting obliterated by Kappa. And there's the end of era Sven Bender and Lars Bender as well. Yeah, that's quite a good looking card, to be fair. 92 pace. Good defending, good physicals, good passing as well. I mean, that looks like a quality centre back as well. You can't, you cannot deny. Passing. I mean, dribbling's good for a centre-back. Defence and physicals are good. Wow. And then the perfect link. The perfect link to right-back. Just insane. What a, what a couple of cards. Wow, there are only two segments, so I wonder how much are actually going to cost you. 284s and a team of the week. They love throwing in those team of the weeks. Mental. 84 and 84, so two eight, so four eighty fours and two team. That's not terrible, to be fair, for for two eighty eight rated cards. Big respect for that. Big respect for that. Is it an eighty five rated squad, or have they changed it? I wonder. It's an eighty five with a team of the week. Are you insane? Five eighty five plus rated players. You have to put in at minimum. 985s and 284s, I believe, for this. That's crazy. That's crazy. When the chances are you probably will get, you know, one 
89 or 88 and then the rest being 85 it's mental mental but there we go and there we are there concludes another episode of the road to glory another episode done hopefully i've enjoyed it uh very another very up and down day on fifa i thought it might be slightly calmer as um a lot of people are in foot champions but i feel like a lot of the people that actually have fun on fifa are, have, are playing foot champ <laughs> no i'm joking but uh yeah, just, you know, just an up and down. Like, we won a couple of games, which isn't bad. But just the people we're playing against, just defensive, counter-attack. Like, the gameplay isn't great anyway, but it's just... It's even worse when not only people are playing like that, but also, like, uh, defensive errors are just all over the, over the place. All over the place. They can't control the ball. They... Whatever. Passes. You know, it's standard, standard stuff at this point. But, uh, yeah... Either way, uh, I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do drop it a like. That would be very, very much appreciated. If you want to see more of this content, please do consider hitting that subscribe button and become part of the exclusive family. But with that said, I do hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, we'll see you next time.